Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the third vlog that I do and the subject this time it's about creativity and looking for my own style. I am a little bit late on the video edit because I wanted to bring first some of the things that I bought that facilitated for me a little bit and then after I did a few streamings I wanted to talk about it not just on the first one. So what you are seeing right now it's uh, exercising that I am making to see if I like to do that kind of work. I don't want to do just the traditional style of uh, portrait, part because I am a little bit frustrated because I cannot be so innovative with the colors yet. And I always loved that thing of the pop art and also the monochromatic but i don't want to get bored with just black and white so i decided to test this one with several different colors to try to make a little bit abstract i had to wait a little bit to dry so what you're going to see in the beginning is not actually the final and i am also trying other ways of painting i bought a long time ago watercolor i didn't like so much so i decided to play a little bit with it again while the time's passing i just got an old book i really love that style that you see the letters behind the drawing and i wanted something a little bit more relaxed maybe i want to apply that for oil painting later on but i know about the chinese traditional painting that looks so nice because they just do like crazy fast movements and it end up being something realistic on their own style but realistic still and i want to try a little bit of that and my spare time i'm going to be doing it and once i feel that i dominate a little bit a few movements for for some elements of course not for everything I want to try to practice that on my painting, maybe doing it as the only view on the painting or maybe on the background. I am uh, posting a few social medias, uh, I have a Pinterest account. Uh, Instagram and a Twitch that I'm going to link below please if you like do follow it helps a lot and I want to bring each time uh, better content for you guys I would also like to say a thank you to my followers and subscribers and people that keeps coming to see my videos it means a lot to me the first part of this lady was a regular recording and I said on the first vlog that I was looking for the streaming that I wanted to find other ways to show myself and I set up my account in Twitch by setup I just mean create it because there was a lot of configurations to do yet and a lot of things to figure out and now in the second part that you are seeing it is actually a recording of the streaming session that I made. You will see that during some points the quality drops or goes a little bit slower and there are some points that you may see part of the chat or you may see also uh, the logo of Streamlabs. So far I did about three or four sessions it is interesting, I'm liking the idea. Uh, some people pass by, but the only ones that are actually interacting with me are my friends. By the way, thank you very much, because you facilitate for me to keep doing and not get bored as I do. Uh, I bought a few materials that I showed in the previous uh, vlog, in the vlog 2, and I was also working on the setting up of it, testing best conditions, but I didn't do that in this one because it arrived by the time that I had already finished. Uh, I'm going to do on the next vlog 
just about streaming because there is a lot to talk about but one thing that i am conflicting is that it is going to drop the quality of the video that i have to place here uh, i feel like i was finally getting a good quality for youtube but i was using a lot of time to edit videos and i wanted to explore the audience in twitch as well i would like to figure it out a way that i can properly use the video for both but because of internet conditions uh, i don't know if i will be able to you probably see some lack of uh, quality sometimes no matter what i do and i will have to cut out part of the video or leave the the screen that i made with my branding for twitch but this is something to talk about in the, in the future i liked the final result that i got with that lady that i added a final touch of uh, realism putting a little bit of uh, let's say real skin colors but I didn't feel like this was something that I would really enjoy doing as a collection. So this was a good test. Maybe someday I'm going to explore a little bit more. But this is not what I see as part of a, a real portfolio. I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope you guys had a good week, and if you liked the video, please don't forget to comment, subscribe, or like. Bye bye!